Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. By the way, if you're listening in Mexico or Guatemala or in Latin America and want to call in, whether you're an expat or you live there, and you want to call me out for saying it's wrong that Obama advertises to the world, you know, if you're sick, you don't have a job, you're uh, hurt, you know, your little kids, come here, we'll pay for it. And, and by the way, they've come out over the weekend and Democrats admit, oh, we are kind of encouraging it. I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to hear from folks on the border states, people down by the border. I mean, it, it looks like a blighted war zone in South Texas on the border compared to what it looked like when I was in even college or high school. It was really cool down there. Really great museums, great food, great people. On both sides of the border, it now resembles Calcutta meets Gaza uh, or, 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 you know, bombed out city, boarded up everything, burned out cars. Uh, and, and, I mean, Mexico's collapsing. And, and, and so I'm supposed to just collapse with it because the globalists have this plan. I want to get into Wesley Clark. In fact, you might have to run over to your office uh, and pull that London Telegraph article you covered on the Nightly News this week. I think that's key to tie into this with Kit. So maybe uh, we can try to uh, yeah. print that off. What was the headline? Uh, I don't remember. I'll have to go back and take a look at it. But you know what you're talking about with, uh, with all this, the, the problems that are going to blight in Mexico and now coming into the U.S., that's really the war that's going on there. You know, they want to talk about the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq that they started. What about this war that they started, the drug war that they started in Mexico? Well, if it's somebody... Thousands of people dying. I mean, it, that, it's worse in terms of casualties than Afghanistan. Yeah, in fact, I keep saying 70,000, 70,000. Years go by like minutes now. That was like three, four years ago. Mm -hmm. And this weekend I looked it up because I saw it on the news. They said over 100,000 dead the last six years. Yes. And I looked it up. It's like 130-something thousand dead. I mean, this more die than Vietnam. Yes. And, and yet that is because of our drug prohibition war. That's what we pushed down into Mexico and Central and South America. Prohibition didn't work with alcohol. Prohibition it, it wrecked this country. Exactly. And so now it's been going on for decades. We've been pushing it down. Rather than stop that plague, that war that we've inflicted on Central and South America, we're telling the people now to come into this country because it is a politically designed takedown. And, and Petraeus was speaking at this uh, Margaret Thatcher group, yeah. which is the opposite. She helped stop the total takeover of England under the EU. L later it got done. And I'm not lionizing her, but she did kill that. Yeah. And here they are at this Margaret Thatcher Society, and it's in the newspaper, saying, oh, the, the open borders are about North American Union. Yeah. Well, of course it is. Well, Petraeus, the question was, after America, what's next? And he said, well, it's simple. North America. So he, and the whole time he's talking about NAFTA and the, the uh, conjunction of Mexico. If you go to the Banff Canada. Canada 2007 documents that are in Endgame, mm -hmm. the Judicial Watch student got, it says, we will integrate through stealth and crisis. That's a quote. Mm -hmm. And they said the crisis will be a giant immigration wave collapsing the borders. We will also try to use the flu and terrorism. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they're doing. That's what they're rolling out the plan right now. And I mean, we have their battle plan. Yeah, as far as they're concerned, they, they, they've already set up the legal framework where we don't have a border, and it's called NAFTA. And that's what Petraeus was glibly talking about. He had absolutely no problem talking about Imagine it. Imagine if you, your neighbor dropped their diary on the ground, and it was in the wind blowing around, and you went and got it. You weren't trying to read it, but you saw your name in it. So you open it, you go in your house, you're kind of embarrassed, you read it, and it's like, yeah, I've been planning to kill David for years, and... <laughs> You know, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, you know, mug him next week and, and make it look like a mugging, you know, just to get him back because I don't like David and 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 you know that'll that'll teach him blah blah blah. Um, you would do something about that. It's a good analogy. We have the globalists just openly admitting all this. White House science czar writes eco science, saying yeah, we put stuff in the water to brain damage you and lower your fertility. And, you know, we go down here to Austin, talk to the mayor with scientists, Harvard studies that fluoride lowers IQ, gives you cancer. He just flips us off. Yeah. Mayor just literally says F you and does it, flips us off. They, being they, polite. They, they toasted him with the uh, the people, gave him the evidence, gave him a local report. The local TV station actually did the report. They toasted him and said, huh, here you go. We're going to keep fluoride in the water. Because it's all part of their cult. Because they know if one thing falls, their whole criminal operation falls. Right. And the mayor of Austin said F you.
We have the video. F you. I'm going to poison you. I can do whatever I want. You got it, scum? We'll be back with Kit Daniels from the border. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Obama. I mean, he did build my business. I, and I like my health care costs going up. KMLN, Los Angeles, Clone Radio. We play the songs that sound more like everyone else than anyone else. Clone. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro because took the Because they were good guns. people. They love government. Took the guns. 1776 will commence again if you try to. Harry Reid says that's terrorist talk. I mean, he's a good guy. The Republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. The answer to 1984 is 1776. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. For hardcore liberals on this broadcast, that means like Thomas Jefferson, not the fake liberals that are a bunch of ultra-fascist criminals wrecking this country with their rhino, blue blood accomplices. I am your host, Alex Jones. David Nice is going to ride shotgun with us the rest of the hour because I love having him here. As my kind of Ed McMahon bouncing uh, info back out at me. We've got Kit Daniels and, uh, of course, uh, the intrepid journalist and cameraman and video editor Rob Jacobson doing a great job down uh, on the border in Brownsville where th they've been told they're not allowed to videotape the illegals on the buses being brought in by the Border Patrol and being paid to uh, get on buses and be dropped off inside the interior. Uh, and and uh, our reporters are also being told they can't be up against the river, no, not even on federal, quote, property. Just don't show illegals coming across. And Breitbart has video of that happening to them as well. U.S. media restricted at border. Federal agents cite safety concerns. For your safety, I'm going to stick my hands down your pants at the airport. For your safety, uh, we're going to do a proctology exam on Jesse Ventura. Uh, for your safety, we're going to naked body scan you while the government funds actual al-Qaeda all over the world to take over different countries as now not just northern iraq but western iraq is now falling to a saudi arabian al-qaeda army that flies osama bin laden flags and that's in the german press because they can read it it's a, their favorite thing is to say we're osama bin laden brigade one some of laden laid brigade two it's black flags in arabic saying which you know bin laden group or which wahhabist group they're part of and uh, Obama's setting up a command threat fusion center to help coordinate with the Iraqi government, guaranteed to get all the Iraqi military's data and give it right to al-Qaeda. And, of course, that's come out as well. So, so that's how this works. Uh, but, again, we're all suspects here in America and the Tea Party and the New Terrorist. Uh, but we're going to Kit Daniels here in a moment till the bottom of the hour. And then, David, you're going to come back. We've got a bunch of news uh, on Hillary, a new tape, her laughing about protecting child rapist, and she's just really is celebrating it. Mm -hmm. and, and this is a real tape, and it just shows the pure evil that we're dealing with. And what else are you going to be covering? Well, we're also going to talk about how they're covering for her with Benghazi. You know, that's a big problem. 
I mean, it's it's not just what we're talking about. What we've heard again, Al Qaeda murdering people. Exactly, that was Al Qaeda. Mm -hmm. And we've heard from uh, uh, Pachinik and others that uh, this was an arms deal. This was uh, something that was going on between two different groups within the CIA. There was uh, internecine fighting going on. But just at the superficial level, this lying about the fact that it was a reaction to a film. Now they've got a book that's coming out. A guy, uh, Ed Klein, wrote this book that he's pushing uh, called Blood Feud between the Clintons and the Obamas, and he's essentially trying to portray her as somebody who she knew that it really wasn't that film but she was had her arm twisted by obama into going along with the deception well i have a problem with that you know well i, I mean oh hillary clinton never lies you're against women people ought to understand this isn't any excuse i mean this is the best excuse they can come up with well she's the new gimmick yeah you know put a guy who claims he's part african in and then he can destroy the whole bill of rights of constitution because it's trendy well now it's the woman thing We'll show those guys. It's just pure gimmicks. And if Americans want to buy into this, folks, can you imagine if Hillary actually gets in? Is, is tyranny any better if it comes to us dressed in a pink polyester pants suit? You know, it, I think if you put Hitler in a pink suit and said it's for the women and said women show the men that they would probably vote for Hitler. Well, she's, she's kind of channeling uh, uh, some kind of a supervillain over there in her poster with those sunglasses. Yeah, by the way, guys, let's show this by a Hillary-funded pack all over Austin is putting these up. We got one. It's Pound Ready is the uh, Twitter meme. If you're watching at Infowars.com, you can see the feed of this in the uh, listen and watch free link there. And she literally looks like she's trying to look like the Godfather or something here. Yeah. I mean, this is just really bizarre and pathetic. And then they've got these blue signs up. She'll turn Texas blue Hillary uh, ready for Hillary dot com. Boy, is that not disgusting? They've got that poster of her in the sunglasses and the uh, phone up on the back of the bus, along with a lecture. Don't text and drive. You know, so it's like the perfect nanny state poster, you know. It's like don't say bossy. Mother and nanny state. Hey, not only does Michelle Obama tell your kids what to eat, don't complain. Yeah. You're not just against women. You're against black women now. Well, they're, they're, no, I'm against control freak criminal weirdos telling me what to do while they feed our kids prison food. They have a problem with her, uh, with the word bossy, but they, they put her up there to look like a boss, you know. I mean, it's, it looks like a big mother, you know, instead of big brother. But It, it is like a fascist or communist poster. Yeah. It's more fascist because the commies usually do that red on blue look, you know, that was the Obama poster. Uh, but, I mean, that looks, that, that literally with the red on the black looks fascist. That, that's like a Nazi poster. Well, and, and what she says is, is like a Nazi, too. When she says that your viewpoints terrorize people, so you better shut up. If you don't think that I should be able to ban assault weapons, and there is no definition of what an assault weapon is. I mean, it's... They commit 2% of the crimes, yeah. the FBI numbers. So, you know, if... 2% if, of gun crime. If you, if you oppose any of that, if you think that rights are something that's absolute and shouldn't be infringed around the edges, see, when they infringe on those rights and do it gradually, they essentially turn it into privileges. And they knew when they wrote the Second Amendment, nobody's going to come in and take their guns the next day. They're going to do it with a gradual process of moving. That's why they talk about you're not allowed to twist these words. I want to go to Kit Daniels on the border to give us a preview of what's coming up in the next segment. And then again, we'll play the clip of the head emergency manager in McAllen, major city, saying no. I'm here. I run it. The, the feds give them vouchers to go wherever they want, illegal aliens, paying to, quote, ship them into the interior. And he's endorsing this, basically, as his job. Okay, so we're going to play that again. But Kit Daniels, uh, I know the videos will be up later tonight. You've been working so hard there with Jacobson around the clock. want to commend you uh, for what you're doing there. I know it's also dangerous in that area. Uh, the, you're saying that you guys have run into the same thing Breitbart is, uh, where they're trying to keep you from documenting what's happening. Kit Daniels uh, from uh, Brownsville. Yes, sir. Uh, right now, we're seeing the beginnings of a media blackout on the same level as the invasion of Granada in 1983. Uh, the Breitbart article was the area of that it was about 60 miles north of where we're at now, right now in Brownsville. About 60 miles, I think, uh, northwest. Yes, I want you to go there. Go, go. Okay. And we encountered the exact same thing here in Brownsville. Uh, Rob Jacobson and I, we drove on a, we drove into a neighborhood in Brownsville that was about 500 feet from the border. And all the dirt road, there's one dirt road in particular that we saw that was, looked like it's typically open. It was even shown on Google Maps that it was open. It was closed, restricted access only. And so we drove around the neighborhood and we found another dirt road. So we took that dirt road and kind of hugged the uh, border, so to speak. And finally, we saw one lone Border Patrol agent that took a very 
keen interest in this. He started, uh, he shifted his uh, SUV into gear, hightailed it, got right on our bumper right when we were driving back into the neighborhood. And he, he uh, rode our bumper for a good five minutes. And it was obvious he